Today, I'm going to show you how to maintain your Crossman DPMS SBR. First thing we do is remove the magazine, uncock the gun, and now we're ready to tear it down. We have a pin at the front and a pin at the back. Here, and you should be able to push them in far, that, far enough with your finger that you can uh, then remove the, the pin from the other side. And that pin is capped if the first pin comes out all the way. Now we can separate the lower receiver from the upper receiver. Now, uh, there are two places here that we're going to oil. So we're just going to pull this back. We don't need to remove it, although you can if you want. In fact, we'll do it just to make it easier to see here what we're doing. Okay, the two places we're going to oil are the green seal here and in here. Now we take um, a, a silicone chamber oil. So this is not Pelgan oil, this is RWS chamber oil, or this is the Crosman silicone uh, chamber oil, also called uh, RMC oil. And we're going to take and put just a drop in here and uh, just make, get that around the edges there just a little bit. And then we're just going to take again and put a drop right, just put a thin, thin bit right around the edge here. And then the third place we're going to put it is we're going to put a drop right on this uh, right here. And I'm going to put a little bit just in that inside, just a touch. And that'll keep everything nice and lubricated in there. Now, we're ready to put it all back together. So the bolt goes in like that. It kind of looks like it wants to go in like that, but that's the wrong way. It goes in like that. You lay this into this channel that's in the caulking or the charging handle. And now you can slide everything back in there. Replace the lower here. Make sure your pin's all the way out. Push that pin in. Place that pin, put the magazine up, and you're good to go. You only need to uh, oil this gun about every 3,000 shots is what the manual recommends. Uh, but with as fun as this gun is, you'll go through those 3,000 shots pretty quickly. I hope this has been helpful, and thanks for watching.